Oh, so guys, this is amazing. Just look at how accurate is detecting the pose on the world most, most, <clears throat> most talented dancer. With no doubt, Michael Jackson is the most talented dancer. But the module is very accurate, you can see. It's detecting the pose very well. It's just getting all the landmarks and everything was good, you know, guys. How good is this? How good is this? Just look at this. This is nice, guys. This is accurate. I think this is 99.9%. hello guys and how is it going so in this tutorial we are going to learn the quickest way to detect pose ever guess what this is going to be just few lines of code and i know you guys are definitely going to like it so let's get into it and import our dependencies then we load in our video and the final step is to get our pose detection on the video we've imported so fast forward we need some videos so i just went on tiktok and got some videos of probably our best dancers in the world you can see michael jackson here and we've got other videos we'll be testing the module on so without wasting much time let's just get into it and start working so we start by importing our packages as usual so we import opcv and the other module we import here is the CV zone library. So import that one. So actually we have the post module in CV zone, so we can just import from CV zone. And then the next step is to what bring in our video. So we'll load in our video, and you guys know how this goes. So video is equal to CV dot the video capture that should be cap. And now you have to specify the path to your video. So wherever it is, you just have to give that relative path. Since I have them, I drag them in the VS Code. I have to just what type their name. So we we'll start with Jackson, which is Michael Jackson probably. So I just have to type that name. That's Jackson. Dot MP4. And that's all. So now we need a way to show this video. So we have to just write some couple of code to do that. And I've taught this in previous video. So link will be in the description how to get your feed or how to get video. So I'll just go ahead and just do this straightforward. Okay, so this is the bare minimum code we need to do this. So first, we just take our frame by frame, so we created a while loop here, then we get our video, we read our video in, we show it with these lines, give it to dot I am show. So we've done this numerous times, so I don't think I should repeat it over and over again, since I'm providing the video link under the description. So here we are assigning key to the weight key value, and we are saying if that key is 27, we break out of the loop. And this 27 key is the escape key on the keyboard so immediately you press it then you just get rid of your loop so let's run this and test our video now and you can see everything went on smoothly so we can delete here uh, or let me say we can delay here let's give it 10 so that the video don't move that fast so you can see it's now going slowly and i think this will be good so now let's start to detect our pose on the video. So we need to create a pose object. I'll call this PD, which is equal to our pose detector. We need to call this object and pass in our image or our video. Then it will start to detect the pose on it. So this is very simple. We just write PD dot, dot find pose. Now all you need to pass here is the image on which you want to find the pose. So we want to pass in our video and in return, this gives us back our image. So with this, we can successfully get our pose from our video. So let's run this and check what we'll get. Wow, and you guys can see. So we have all the landmarks as it bends. So this, this is cool. I can see it's moving. You have all the landmarks on him. Wow. So this module is detecting well. And we got this error because that's the end of the video. So let's see whether we can give other parameters. Okay, it's already drawing, so you can specify it to draw or not. So if you want it to draw, 
then if you do, if you don't want it to draw then you can specify draw which is equal to false instead of true and now it will not draw you can see nothing is detected on the body so that's what the draw actually do but i would like to draw because i want to see the pose so let's just get rid of it and what we can also get is to get our landmark and our bounding box so we can call that one lm list and we can get our bounding box information and this is equal to what the pd dot find post position so in here we still specify our what image then this will give us our bounding box it will give us our landmark so all the landmarks on the body will get it in this variable which we can target a specific landmark that we work with so now you can see we have the bounding box we have all the landmarks on it so let me just get rid of this and print the landmarks so let's print our lm list and you can see we have plenty so this all the landmarks on the body the red red dots this is what we are getting in the list so you can see this module works correctly and it's very simple to set up don't know for you guys whether you'll be trying this you'll be using this to control set doing certain projects to control certain stuffs let me know in the description so i have a couple of other videos which we can try let's try ziggy and let's see how well it will detect on him too wow so this is amazing so ziggy is actually a dancer in ghana he's a ghanaian dancer so you can see he got detected very well wow look at the moves let's try this on another video i have which is poco Pokoli. So Pokoli is also a Nigerian dancer. He got moves, you know, I'll dance. Most of you guys will know about him because I know he's international dancer as well. Wow. So we are getting all the landmark information. And that's nice. Then the last person is let's try this on dance. God. He's also from Ghana, a dancer as well, international one as well. So you can see the detection looks good on these guys. So guys, let me have your thoughts on this. I want to also know what you guys will be using this for. And other videos you will probably need about this, let me know. Okay, so this is good already guys and I think we have to bring this to an end here. If you have any questions any use cases just let me know in the description in the comment section i think so thank guys for watching and i will see you guys in another tutorial